Hey everyone, how are you today? I'm Lauren from Lauren Learns, drinking this delicious peach pear LaCroix that my husband says tastes like the soda machine ran out of syrup, but he can go pound sand. So today I want to talk to you about waking up early. And while a lot of you are like, I'm not a morning person, I think this is why you should do it. So it's been proven that we're the most productive when we wake up early and that that level of productivity goes down as the day goes on and into the evening. So, I mean, I, I'm sure a lot of us can attest that at the, at the end of the day, we just want to watch TV or play on our phone and we're not super up for doing anything fun or productive. But turn that around and do all the most important things at the beginning of your day. Wouldn't you want to do that? I sure would. I found this guy, Jocko Willink. So yeah, Jocko preaches why everyone should get up at 4.30 in the morning and he gives lots of reasons and steps to get there. And so I just really come to be inspired by him and he's an ex-Navy ex SEAL, really cool guy. Okay, so this is what my morning routine looks like. Um, my alarm clock starts going off at about 4.30 and it's not like with noise, it's with light. And so it's a gradual light that starts to emit about 4.30 and every couple minutes it gets brighter. And then at 5, eventually it's at its brightest and it sounds these little birdie chirp noises and you feel like you're waking up to springtime. It's lovely. So the first thing I like to do when I get out of bed is drink a giant glass of water and then I do my workout. Usually it's on YouTube and like these days it's on YouTube and I use Sydney Cummings. She's an awesome YouTuber. You should go check her out. She does a new YouTube video every single day for working out. So after I do my workout I like get so sweaty when I do her stuff. It's awesome. A lot of HIIT training. Um, I earned my shower that way. And I feel like I've got my blood pumping for the day, which is so helpful. So, so helpful. Like I can focus. So I take my shower and then my favorite part of the day is some, like sometimes I'll make some coffee. Sometimes I won't. And I'll just sit down with my Bible and spend some time with Jesus telling him about how I feel, um, downloading what I need to, to be encouraged from God's word and really just feeling like, like I know, knowing I'm not alone in my day and knowing that. He's equipped me to get done what's needed and he's equipped me to have a good attitude and pour it out into the people around me and because I know that I'm here to encourage and love others. So that that spite, that time I spend with Jesus is so important and that time I spend working out is so important and honestly it's like it's a spiritual and a physical workout all in my morning to get started and I love, I love that time before my family gets up. There was no chance that I could have gotten to this gotten this type of routine going a couple of years ago when my kids were still up a lot of the night. So now that they're four and six, I'm able to kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel and some days are not all perfect at that way either. Like there are some nights where they still wake up and need me. And so I just give myself grace and on those days I try to get my workout in somewhere else and um, try to pray throughout my day instead. It's just, it's just, it looks different. But on the days that I'm able to swing it, oh my gosh, it just sets me up for success and I get so thankful. So that's what I'm learning. So the reason I'm posting about it today, because I have been doing it the last couple months, but I'm learning, keyword, uh, that it's imperative because the last couple weeks, my husband and I took turns being sick and it really disrupted my morning routine and it showed me even more so how, how I can get ugly mommy really fast when I don't get my morning workout in. And um, I don't like being impatient with my kids. I don't like snapping at them. And like, let's face it, every parent does it, but I, like, we have to do we have to do better by our kids. So I have to get in that workout. I have to get time in prayer to for me to be the best parent that I can be. And um, I'm learning just how important it is for me specifically to get that, to get that in for myself so that I'm not starting my day empty. And that's, that's what's going on. So I just want to share that with you guys. Share my peach pear LaCroix flavor with you. And um, just remind all of you in the game of life that you're doing a great job, that you matter, that you're loved and valued, especially by God. But the more that I hear from you guys reaching out to me, I'm like, especially by me. So I just appreciate all of you that are watching, watching this channel and feeling encouraged in that you're like learning something along with me. I really appreciate that. So. Thank you for tuning in, and I cannot wait to share with you again next week. Go get messy, have fun, and learn.